Welcome. My name is Ram Krishna. I'll be leading Android development training at Mobignosis. Everyone knows that Android has tons of potential. Lots of people are looking to write their own applications in Android. Many employers are looking to have their applications written in Android. Everyone sees great potential for Android platform. At Mobignosis, we are offering an extensive course that will give you all the tools necessary to succeed as an Android engineer. So in this brief video, I'm going to show you uh, the brief overview about our training program. By the end of the training, you will learn the features and benefits of using Android platform for smartphone and tablet applications. You will build your own Android applications. You will be in a position to take advantage of Android application framework API to build complex applications. You can secure, tune, package and deploy Android applications into the Google Play. What are the prerequisites? We expect you to know Java and having a basic knowledge of integrated development toolkit called Eclipse is a plus. Course modules. We divide the course into two main modules. One is Android overview. In this module, we talk about the genesis of Android, how it evolved and software stack of Android operating system and the application structure of Android also how to architect Android applications by using different framework components we'll also discuss about how to debug, test and secure your Android applications the second module is contains a set of hands-on sessions here we'll show you how to develop user interfaces by using activities how to navigate within the application using action bar, how to set preferences within the Android application, how to leverage advanced user interface components available in the framework, and how to develop background services, how to receive external events using broadcast receivers, how to persist the application data using different data storage mechanisms, how to populate application data into the user interface using adapters. How to develop user interfaces for the bigger screen real estate devices like tablets and Google TV using fragments. At the end, we'll also show you how to develop unit test cases for application. The most exciting part about this training is, as part of the hands-on sessions, you will be developing an application called Fitness Plus this application has four different functionality. It allows the user to build their health profile. It will also allow them to log their food and exercise activities. Using this application, they can build a scheduler for their health activities. They can see the progress and share that progress with their social network. Let me just show you one use case. That is how to use Facebook within Android applications. If you see here, I just created uh, a Facebook application in Facebook developers website. This is the application ID. And within Android application, I use same ID. And this is the source code of the simple application. I installed this application in Android emulator. This is the application. It has four different buttons. I'll click on login. If you see, it grabbed name and profile picture from the Facebook account. And now I can share the Fitness Plus status to my Facebook network. I can also share the badges that earned this score, uh, this application. It posted the batch. I, I can also invite my friends into this application. Let's just verify whether it's shared or not. Yeah, it shared the badges, it shared the status. That is, it's using fitness plus social app. This is a badge it shared just now. Isn't it cool? 
So let me just give you a code flow for one particular use case. For example, when I click on share fitness plus status, the control will go to post status update button and it will call on click method. On click method will internally call on click post status update. On click post update status will delegate the action to perform publish. Perform publish will get an active session to the Facebook and it will call the method that is handle pending action. In handle pending action depending upon the type of action here the type is status update. It will call the post status update. In post status update we are building a request Facebook request and we are executing that request. Upon successful completion of the request we will show the user, we will notify the user about the status, success or failure. Isn't this cool? Within a matter of few minutes we developed a simple application that leverages Facebook functionality. We will be doing similar kind of cool stuff in this course. So come and join us and learn more about Android. Thank you.